Good morning everyone. This is Carl F. Rose recording live from Bedford, Pennsylvania on Thursday, March 13th, 2014. And um, I do have a bunch of, quite a few verses to go through, Bible verses to go through today. Um, but before I do that, um, I just want to talk a little bit about the um, storm the brief storm that uh, passed through overnight. Um, I was lucky, power stayed on, but um, I know some people. Um, it knocked out about um, over 1,500 people were without power from uh, for about five or six hours, something like that. Um, and power was restored approximately at midnight. midnight. But I know people with animals and stuff, and it, it got down wind chills were the minus 20s or so and the temperatures were in the teens so that was a pretty rough ordeal but um, uh, I understand powers back on but um, this old man winter has got to go away anyway with that said let me get on to um, this. Let me start with Exodus uh, three, uh, chapter three, verse fourteen, and um, there's a little footnote above uh, verses thirteen and fourteen, but I'm going to read just fourteen. So I have it says the footnote above. Oh, excuse me. The footnote above um, Exodus chapter three is uh, below chapter Exodus chapter three is the call of Moses, the burning bush. And then the footnote um, above um, chap, uh, verses 13 and 14 is the revelation of the name Jehovah. Uh, okay, now uh, let me read uh, verse 14. It says, And God said unto Moses, I am that I am, in bold type. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am, in bold letters, hath sent me unto you okay not really sure why I was led to read that one but I was oh the I was led to read these on um, July 17th uh, 2013 okay uh, let me go to the next one yeah, let me get here oh, we're gonna go all the way to John And as I do these, you'll know, notice that I do refer to probably Matthew and John quite a bit. Okay, now let's see. Okay, here's chapter uh, John, chapter 5, verse 19. And the footnote below chapter 5 says, The Feast. And then in, in parentheses, Pentecost, with a question mark. The pool of Bethesda and healing. Okay, let's go to uh, verse 19, let's see what that says. And again, part of this is um, highlighted in red where Jesus is speaking. And then verse 19 goes on, it says, Then Jesus, then answered Jesus and said unto them, and here this part's in red, where, he's, where Jesus is talking, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. Okay, um, if anyone wants to elaborate on that, they can in the comments. Um, let me go to, I'm still in John here, let me go to, uh, okay, ah, here we are, okay, John 7, okay, John chapter 7, verse 18, and then the um, footnote um, right under chapter 7 says, Jesus urged to go to the Feast of Tabernacles. 
and let's see what uh, verse 18 says and again this is all highlighted in red and this is what Jesus is saying he that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory but he that seeketh his glory that sent him the same is true and no unrighteousness is in him again if anyone wants to elaborate on that they can um, let's go to this we're still in chapter um, 7 now let's go to uh, verses 28 and 29 and again part of these are highlighted in red or Jesus is speaking and then here's 28 then cried Jesus in the temple as he taught saying and here this part some um, highlighted in red here's where Jesus is speaking ye both know me and ye know whence I am and I am not come of myself but he that sent me is true whom ye know not then 29 continues but I know him for I am from him and he hath sent me I think that's pretty self-explanatory okay now let me go to um, let's see okay we're, now we're going up to John 11 Okay, verses 9 and 10 and the footnote under chapter 11 is the raising of Lazarus and then let's go to chapters 9 and 10 again there's uh, text highlighted in red where Jesus is speaking let's go with uh, 9 Jesus answered and then the rest here is in red where he's speaking are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world. And then verse 10 continues, Jesus is still talking here, verse 10. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth, because there is no light in him. Well, I don't think I need to explain that one. Okay, now let's go on to... Um, John chapter 12 okay and then um, the footnote right under chapter 12 is the supper at Bethany if I pronounce that right I'm not sure uh, verse 46 okay and again this uh, verse here is all highlighted in red where Jesus is speaking and then um, it says I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness well again I don't think I need to elaborate on that one uh, let's see now let's go to um, let's see oh two, two Thessalonians here second Thessalonians Okay, um, two Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse twelve, and then the footnote under under chapter two says, "The day of the Lord and the man of sin." Now let's go to verse twelve. And verse twelve says that they that that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness again that's pretty self-explanatory okay uh, now let's go to 1 John okay Oops. 
Okay. Okay. One John chapter four verse six. Okay. One John chapter four. And uh, the footnote under chapter four is the family and the world. And let's go. What verse six says. Okay. There's a footnote um, above um, five and six. The world marks of false teachers. Okay. That's uh, verse six. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we are the spirit of the of truth and the spirit of error. Again, I don't think I have to explain that one. And finally, let's end on Revelation. Okay, Revelation chapter 2, verse 11, and there's two footnotes under um, chapter 2. The things which are, in quotations, of the seven churches, and then the other footnote is, the message to Ephesus, the church at the end of the apostolic age, first love left. Okay, and um, verse 11, and again, this is all highlighted in red, so this is what Jesus is saying. Um, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Yes, we don't want this, nobody wants a second death. Not me, anyway. I'm sure that. Oh, there was a footnote above this little section here. Yeah, the message to Samaria, to Samaria, period of the great persecutions, to A.D. 316. Okay, well, that's it for today. Um, God bless you all. God bless the country you happen to be in. God bless America. And be sure to hug your loved ones, including your pets. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.